Okay, it's Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And I am not live today, but I promise I, if you have questions, you can still leave them. And I will be coming back and checking on them, answering any questions. Today I'm filming at a different time of day than I normally do, which is why you can see the sun is shining pretty brightly. So we are actually going to get started. This is our last featured project with Dove of Hope. You have until the end of November, so that is Monday, November 30th. If you would like to place an order of $50 or more before tax and shipping, you will get the Dove of Hope tutorial bundle online class for free. It is five video tutorials and six PDF tutorials. And then come December, the Snowflake Splendor stamp set is what is going to be the featured stamp set. And we're using a little bit of the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper today. So, and the embossing folder, so you'll get a little sneak peek. So let me point you down to my workstation and let's get going. Since I am not doing this live, I cannot watch what you are seeing. So I'm making sure you can kind of where you all have. Okay. I was just checking to see where your line of sight was. What we're doing today is we are using a Highland Heather cardstock cut four and a quarter by 11 and then folded in half. I don't see my bone folder anywhere close. We are making a card that is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to set this aside for now. We also have a lot of different pieces we'll be using today. Um, first, we're going, we will be embossing that. We have some die cutting, but first, I think I want to do the stamping. And I have two different colors gray granite for the dove and highland heather for the sentiment and i'm going to stamp the dove on this piece that we will be taking through the stamp a cut and emboss and cutting momentarily and I am also going this is the inside of the card so I am going to stamp it as well stamp the dove up in the corner close my gray granite and then we have Highland Heather for the sentiment and this is the one that says may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas I'll make sure it's on there stamp it right there 
And there it is. And then I've cut a strip of the designer series paper that is four by three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to put this at the bottom of the card interior. All right, there is the inside of our card. And I'm going to lay it aside for now, pull up. The stamp and cut and emboss machine. Move some things so that it lays flat, and then we're going to start building our sandwiches and doing some cutting and embossing. First, we're going to emboss. So we have our base plate and I don't think either one of these are 3D folders we'll find out in a minute but that means I'm going to put a cutting plate I'm using the oh this is a 3D so take that cutting plate away this is a tasteful textiles. And I have this piece of designers. Oh, that's not what I'm embossing. Good thing I remembered that. I have this piece of whisper wine that's cut at, I believe, three or three and a quarter by five and a half. And I will be putting it in the embossing folder and putting on, oh, nope, I did need that other cutting plate. Cutting plate, embossing folder, cutting plate. No, I don't know what I'm doing still with this machine. I'm still learning. Let me read. It tells me about 3D embossing folders. Let me get the 3D embossing folder plate. And you want to insert this embossing folder hinge first. And put number four, which is the embossing folder plate on top. And then you send it through. Make sure you have the entire embossing folder covered so that it will provide the pressure you need. And there is our textured tile embossed piece of paper. I'll lay it aside as well. And then we are going to emboss with the winter snow embossing folder. Now I don't think this one is 3D. 
So you're putting a piece of a designer series paper in there, closing it, and we start with our base plate. It tells you everything you need to know right on the base plate. So when you're like me and can't remember from one time to the next, you can just read it and see what has needs to happen. We put a cutting kind of plate, then the embossing folder hinge first, then another cutting plate. Make sure you have the embossing folder covered. And here we go. Here we have it embossed with these snowflakes. You'll see better, I hope, when we put it all together lights being a little bit on the crazy side today. Okay. Then we have a couple of dies to cut out. And in order to do that, you start with the base plate and then the thin die adapter one cutting plate and then what you want to cut out both the paper and the die so there is the dub that we will be putting the die around the frame if we're framing it I say that and then there it is. I thought I lost it. Get it line. Let's just stick to my fingers. Good man. And then I have from the Joy Dies set, I have the piece word that we are going to cut out with the Highland Heather. And I'm not quite sure. There we go. We're just going to put it up there. Put the piece die right there. Put on the other cutting plate. I have to mess with this and get it lined up again. Here we go, and then send it through.
right. Move all this for a minute. We have the dove cut out. I will probably trim around it to make it um, a closer framed piece. Just do that right now. Trim around a little bit of that. And then our piece die should just come out. It has adhesive backing on the back of it, so that will make it easy to um, put on our card in a minute. And that's actually all we have to do next is put the card together to find all my pieces all right now we just put it together first thing we do The first thing I always do, if it's done and ready to go, is glue the inside of the card. And then we get the front ready. And this is going to be interesting, but I think this textured layer will add some intrigue. there in the center and then start adding our other pieces the larger three by three and a half rectangle that we embossed with the snowflakes is what goes down next and I'm actually going to scoot it clear over to the edge of the card and then I'm thinking I'm going to put our two and a half inch square piece of the snowflake designer series paper next right about there more in the middle of the larger snowflake on the sides, but more of it showing on the top. And then I'm going to put peace take off the backing and that all my inside pieces came with it. I'm going to put peace hanging over right like that. Okay. And finally, put a dimensional on the back of my dove.
or two. And just put it in the corner of the snowflakes. So there we have it. There's the front of our card and the inside of our Christmas card. And this one does a great job showing different textures, embossing, die cutting, um, all the fun kind of things to do. So I hope you enjoy this and I will be checking for any comments later and I will see you back here next Thursday at 2 p.m. Central for our first card using the Snowflake Splendor set. I don't think that's what the the stamp set is called, but I will check that out and get back to you about what exactly that is. So, have a wonderful Black Friday, wonderful weekend, and the beginning of Advent, and I will see you back here next Thursday. Bye.